Welcome to our trip to Vancouver, which is a precursor to an Alaskan cruise. For those of you who've watched my other videos, I welcome you back. And if you're new, please be patient. In this video, we visit Grouse Mountain, which was part two of a tour we took, and we'll talk briefly about a food tour of gas town we went through and a trip around Stanley Park. On our vacations, we've been on several gondolas, and this one was pretty standard. But as you can see down there, to the left is Lake Capilano, and I speed this up a little bit, we get to see a paraglider come over the mountain. On the top of Grouse Mountain is a bear compound, built to preserve a couple bears who were orphaned young. Here we are outside the compound, and the bears happen to be enjoying the water today because it was hot, at least relatively hot for Vancouver. The bears are kept there, uh, but never have direct human contact. They feed them using slingshots, and uh, it's a fairly large compound, so they can wander about fairly freely. This ski lift takes you f to the very top. Uh, there's also a lumberjack show up there on the hill, but we didn't stop for that because we wanted to get to the very top. As you can see, the weather was perfect that day and the views were incredible. We walked about quite a ways on the top of the mountain, and there are some hiking trails that come all the way up, so you don't have to ride the gondola or the ski lift, but that seemed a bit ambitious for us. Here's a view to the west. We were struck by how close wilderness and beauty of nature is to a very large city. Vancouver does seem to offer the best of both worlds, city living and easy access to outdoor activities. No wonder it's very crowded. On a clear day like we had, Grouse Mountain provides a spectacular view of the city, the ocean, and the surrounding mountains. If you have a nice day and you get to Vancouver, make sure you go up there and take a look around. One other thing to note is that the mountains way off in the distance to the south are in the United States. At the top of the gondola is the mountain house. It has food and, of course, beer, and we had a very nice time sitting there, waiting for our time to go back down the gondola. When we got to the bottom of the mountain, we loaded back on the tour bus that took a brief stop at Capilano Lake. And the water did look pretty inviting. But there's no swimming, fishing, or boating because this is the drinking water for about 70% of Vancouver. Here are a couple brief shots from our food tour of Gastown. Here we stopped at a brewery 
tasted some beer. We also had a Japanese karagi chicken and uh, poutine. And we saw some of the architecture and other unique facets of Gastown, which is the oldest surviving part of the city. When I say surviving parts, I should tell you that at one point Vancouver was completely destroyed by a fire that swept by the wind all the way across the city. The only things that survived were some bricks and one or two buildings, including a hotel. Here's a tour we booked for the next morning. We took four hours and saw Stanley Park and other parts of the city before we embarked onto the ship for our cruise. Stanley Park has 1,001 acres and it's larger than Central Park. It's not, however, the largest city park in the world or even in Canada. It was at one point logged, and so most of the trees aren't old growth, but there are some old growth trees that still exist. Native peoples have been asked to build some totems, and here we are sampling a few of those. In 1886, the park was named after Lord Stanley, who, by the way, also has the Stanley Cup named after him. There's a cannon on the edge of the park, which used to be fired at 9 p.m., however, Laws have made firing guns like that illegal, and so it no longer fires. Here's the lighthouse. Here's the girl in wetsuit statue, which was fashioned after the Lorelei in Germany. It's also very similar to the Little Mermaid statue in Copenhagen. While the park is well forested, there are hiking paths through the park, and a seawall goes all the way around the western edge to protect the park from the ocean. The seawall is over nine kilometers long and you can walk and ride bikes on it. The park goes right over the Lionsgate Bridge and here it is. There's also hollow trees and there's one hollow tree that they've propped up even though it's been long dead because there are old-time photos of elephants inside that tree. Here's a view from the northern edge causeway of the park of the Burrard Inlet. And of course a view of the Lionsgate Bridge. While we were here, there was an elderly Asian man playing an instrument you could hear in the background. Here's the tree that had the elephant in it. We're a little bit smaller, but we fit nicely. Stanley Park contains Canada's largest aquarium and this very expansive flower garden. May this sculpture inspire laughter, playfulness, and joy in all who experience it. This is the amazing laughter artwork in Stanley Park. The artist was Yu Minjun of China, and it was originally displayed in Beijing 
but purchased to mo and moved to Vancouver by a couple Vancouver citizens. The statues are installed on the edge of English Bay, which gives a beautiful view to the west out to the ocean. While we were there, we took the time to see some ships that were moored out there as well. This condo building has always had a tree on top but it had to be replaced recently for a price of $554,000. Here we are on the way to Granville Market, which is a very popular place in Vancouver. They sell all kinds of things, fruits, vegetables, artwork. It's a very interesting and eclectic marketplace. This vendor has a few olives. There are also vendors with all kinds of very scrumptious looking fruits and some things that we simply just couldn't recognize. If anybody knows what this is, leave a comment and tell me. Generally, Vancouver is a wonderful place to sit outside, have a beer, and watch people. But we had a boat to catch. We'll tell you about that in our next video. Oh, here's our stateroom. If you enjoyed this little travel log, go down and hit the like button. And subscribe so you get noticed when I put out another one.